Sam Richardson. It is so awesome to be talking with you. I've been looking forward to this. Um, um, I don't even know where to begin. This film was so good. I can't even stress that enough. I watched it a bunch of times. You were awesome in it. Um, so, you know, what were your immediate thoughts when you first got this script? Uh, well, I, well, when I first got the script, uh, I thought it was so funny and so unique. And I, I'm, you know, I'm a fan of, of genre films. So, you know, I, I love, uh, you know, werewolf and, and vampire and, right. and spy and action movie. You know, I, I just really love genre films. So the chance, so like, I got excited for the idea of getting to like lead one. Uh, and this, I thought the script was so good and, and funny and unique. And it had like sort of like vibes of, of Clue and, and like Fargo-ish kind of like, yes. even, even the script did. Uh, and then talking to the director, Josh Rubin, like, and, and hearing what he wanted to do with it, I, yeah. was, I was so excited and I was jumping. Yeah, I mean, I love a memorable whodunit murder mystery, you throw in a lichen for crying out loud, <laughs> a dynamic cast and this, you know, sort of offbeat humor and it's an instant classic in, in my eyes. And so what I thought was interesting that this is based on a Ubisoft virtual reality game, which I didn't know, is that something you were familiar with before the script or you learned it in that moment? Uh, well, I am a, uh, I'm a video, I'm a gamer and I am a VR gamer. Gotcha. Uh, but funny enough, I hadn't played Werewolves Within, but I played the game Werewolf uh -huh. <clears throat> and, uh, and Mafia and Detective, and, and which are all like sort of like the same sort of genre of uh, uh, social, uh, sort of social party game where you're trying to figure out who is a uh, yeah. uh who's who's killing the people off and like uh so I, even like when i heard the idea i was like oh that's a perfect uh <laughs> like sort of port for a, a video game to a movie like that one's like seems like a slam dunk and reading the script i was like oh yeah and there are like little things in there that are little easter eggs that are you know that refer to the game and refer to like the video game specifically uh, that are in there that I really appreciated. And I was like, oh, okay, let's see if anybody catches this one, let's see if anybody catches that one. <laughs> um, but <laughs> I think this is like, as far, and I, of course I'll say this cause I'm in it uh, and, I, and I star in it, but I think this is like the, ve the best video game adaptation mm. or for, you know, that there is. Oh, wow, okay. Been. and it's and if memory serves me right, it's a it's a multiplayer type of VR game, right? Yes. Uh, okay. it's, so in the game, you're all uh, you you know you're in a circle, just like it's like how you play the game in in, in real life at a party, and uh, a person is assigned, and like maybe one or two people are assigned, like you're the werewolf or you're the uh, mm. the mafia member, and everybody closes their eyes. The mafia member opens their eyes, picks who they want to kill, close. Everybody closes their eyes again. And you, when you wake up, the person's been killed, uh, and then so now you have to like decide among yourselves who could have done it, you know. And there's a, a a moderator who's like, oh, who knows? And so like that <laughs> to this. That sounds like a lot of fun. Um, and so yeah, mm -hmm. so you you see that uh, in this film, which is one of the you know many elements that makes it so cool. But what I enjoyed about your your character, Forest Ranger Finn Wheeler, he was so lovable and you know with this unassuming charm. But then the comedic timing was just everything for me. And, and quite honestly, that's what you, Sam, are known and loved for as an actor. So I'm curious as to, you know, where does that je ne sais quoi uh, stem from, if you will? <laughs> and, and what was your process in this film sort of preparing for that? Uh, well, thank you, first of all. <laughs> uh, I think uh, sort of like in, in reading this and preparing for this, I, I, I feel a lot of what good comedy and good comedy timing is is in listening and reacting it's like in the reaction and like the time that it takes like the the microsecond and the rhythm of comedy so i like i saw this as like a great exercise and challenge in playing off of a lot of energies you know and and sort of like how does this person make himself malleable and sort of like he, he, you know he's nice but then he's he's put, put in this position of of power 
And like, well, he's all of a sudden he's an authority figure, whereas like he never was seeking that sort of thing out. Like a person doesn't become a, a forest ranger to tell people what to do, you know, <laughs> a, a person becomes a forest ranger to make sure that the forest is clean, right. you know? Uh, and so that, so, so like the getting to play with those sort of levels of a person who is reluctantly put in a position of authority but then also has all these like insane sort of quirky energies coming at him and like dealing with them, but also still trying to maintain uh, that like sort of energy of niceness. It was like a really fun. Yeah, I mean, that's where the magic for me kind of, you know, existed and, and you know, talking about the cast, the synergy among you all was just, it was incredible to watch. Um, so I'm curious about what was that onset interaction like preparing for this um, situation together and then being placed in it like what was all that how was that uh, it was really cool like we we filmed this up in the Catskills uh, or like like up up in upstate New York uh, and and we all essentially lived together in this uh, soft soft opened. Uh, lodge hotel called the the urban cowboy so you know we were around each other 24 7 and then filming to, around each other 24 7 so we really bonded you know we really got to know each other uh comedically and, and personally and socially all these things so uh it was really a joy we all loved each other so much and we were like you know we became like a family so getting to film these scenes was like really great and also also like everybody onto themselves is just like this hilarious comedic uh theatrical yeah. pro you know so then you to bring this like whole crew together and like having having everybody play off of each other uh was like really fun and like to get to like and it was and and to, to like sort of uh even just like in the scene to get to like kind of sit back and watch the energies between oh. each other people was like a, I think I, I think, to make sure, oh, I'm in this scene. That's right, let me, right? Let me be present. <laughs> I mean, there were moments where, you know, there wasn't a lot of lines going on, but even in those moments, there was just so much power and so much to watch just in terms of energy flowing and facial expressions, body movements. Ah, oh, what a treat. Um, so, as, I mean, as a kid, were you, were you into, or a young, you know, adult, uh, were you into um, murder mysteries? Uh, as a young adult, kid slash uh right adult <laughs> uh to baby uh right. i've i've always been into i've always been into genre but also like mysteries i i fashion myself or fancy myself as a bit of a detective mm. so you know i love to like try and see if i can come up with an ending before the ending you know which makes me a nightmare to watch tv with because i'll be like no this guy did this and i'll be right and i'm like sorry you ruined the whole movie i ruined the whole thing because i'm like it's got to be him because why would he like look like that and say that why is he it's got to be him or <laughs> you know yeah. uh, or it's got to be her because they're saying him too much and they're trying to trick you you know or it's got to be them because you know what i mean like uh, You're that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I could relate to that because I'm the same way. I'm obsessed with mysteries and just trying to analyze who did what and why. Um, what, you know, what's the most memorable aspect of this um, entire process in film for you? Uh, I think the most memorable aspect of this would have to be truly getting to, to well, <laughs> here's, here's one thing. It was like, it's not, it's not a happy story. But as part of this thing, we're filming. I'm arachnophobic as all uh, get out. And uh, there's a scene we had to film underneath this deck of this old, uh, of, of its building, the Spillian building, where we filmed the thing is this old lodge uh, be, uh, bed and breakfast yeah. up in, up in uh, Catskills. And we had to film this thing where we're underneath this deck. And then you could, I was like under there and I could see just a metropolitan of, <laughs> <laughs> of spider eggs oh. and I was like huh we got to film this scene and we got to get out of here right now and I'm like go 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 and I, you know I'm usually I'm I, I felt bad about about it but I was like come on let's go let's go why are we why are we dilly dallying do we get it do we all right well let's do another take let's go quick quick and then like we got it and then I, I was like I'm, I'm like running out like let me get out of here and I slipped on some black ice and I like land on my butt and I was like and I got up like I'm fine and I, I rushed off <laughs> But uh, 
that will certainly live with me forever because I was like, I could have been eaten alive by a bunch of spiders in this horror movie that's not even about spiders. I can't believe you got through that. That's impressive. That's commitment to the craft, my friend. That exactly. Is <laughs> Anything for the shot. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Um, yeah, so this film comes out, Werewolves Within is in theaters June 25th, 2021, and on digital, rental and VOD July um, 2nd. I've been reading comments underneath the trailer, and there are so many people that are looking forward to this film coming out. It is insane. Mm -hmm. I think it's a mixture of hardcore Sam Richardson fans and just werewolves, murder mystery fans. So it's like the perfect, it's the perfect union. What, yeah. what should viewers expect from Werewolves Within? Last words. Uh, people, viewers should expect to, to be scared, to <laughs> laugh, uh, and to like really fall in love with some of these characters and to not really know who it is and to be to be surprised. Right. Yeah. I mean, that for me, I was kind of blown away. I thought it was everybody. I'm thinking everybody. Yep. <laughs> they all did it. There's no way. And then, yeah. And another <laughs> one last thing before I wrap this up, yeah, I can keep going, um, is the idea that the film touched on, you know, sort of like the werewolves within us, within each person, which was kind of like, Huh. Okay. You know, yeah. Because yeah. there's the underlayer of the sort of socio uh, political undertones of like, you know, uh, conservatism versus uh, liberalism versus like environmentalism versus conservatism. Yeah. All these good Lots things of, versus yeah. conservatism. Uh, and sort of like what, is, what are people's interior motives or alter, ulterior motives? And like everybody has something to gain or something to lose. Right. And like what, what are people willing to do to protect their, uh, their bottom line or their you know, thing? So I think this movie touches on that and that's really cool. Good point. Thank you so much, Sam. I'm Ellen with blackfilm.com. Can't wait for this film to come out. You are awesome, and thank you for talking with me. Oh, thank you so much. It's an absolute pleasure. All right. I love bye. your background, too. That's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. I want that poster in the back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Have a good one. Thank you. You, too. Bye. Bye.